Good morning, everyone. I've got you guys on this new little tripod thing because you guys know I vlog on my phone and it's not working so well, landscape style. But I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. Um, it's kind of like a, a, re, a prescription refill. Uh, thing and it's at 9 30 and uh, I'm five minutes uh, it's like 9 25 and my appointment is about um, 10 minutes or two minutes away I was ready but then I sat down and had coffee and lost track of time so I'm on my way and uh, I have to go to Kohl's to do a return because I ordered some stuff on Amazon. So I got to go and do a Amazon return. And then I was going to go and check out and see if they have any shoes for my mom um, with some grip. And let's see, come home and get some work done. Oh, to go to Aldi and get a couple things for dinner tonight. And uh, come home, get some more work done, finish editing. Oh, my God. I'll just have to hold you guys. Um, get some work done, I uh, have some editing to do, uh, there's another stoplight that's coming up, so I'm going to put you guys back up, so be hands free, so y'all don't be coming at me in the comments, um, but I have to get some work done, um, and Liam has a game tonight, so I'll be taking him to that, and, uh, just got another busy week back to reality after our vacation um, of just non-stop. I was able to take Monday off to really rest up. I was so tired, you guys. I slept the whole time. All of Sunday. I mean, all of Monday. Um, and what else? Slept in a little bit yesterday, but you know, got, got to get some work done. And, uh, and that's pretty much it when it comes to that. I have, oh, last night, let me just tell you guys what happened last night. So last night, Cameron had called me. So we have the 365 Life 365 app and I put it on the boys phone just so that I can kind of check on them and see how they're doing and where they're at well, this Life 360, I got the free version, came in clutch last night. So I had walked away from my phone and I didn't hear the notification, but I did get a phone call from Cameron. Um, and then when I talked to him, he told me that he was involved in a car accident. He's fine. Thank God. Um, he's very sore. His legs are sore. We thought he had broken his leg because he couldn't move it. Um, so he and one of his uh, teammates were on their way home and they had the right of way. Uh, but this lady decided to pull out in front of them and they T-boned her. Um, which is unfortunate because, uh, they hit her on her side. They didn't, you know, good thing that they didn't try to swerve or anything because I just, I didn't want them to hold on. Ugh. Can't do it yet. Cause now the light's green. Um, I didn't want them to try to swerve and cause more damage to themselves or even to the lady. But what upsets me about this whole debacle of this lady is that she didn't even, is that she didn't even get out and apologize, check on the boys. She just stayed by her car. And um, so this Life360 app, when Cameron told me that he got into a car accident, um, it gave us a notification that Cameron may have been involved in a car accident. I was like, what? 
So Tariq had called me and said, hey, did you get the notification? And I'm like, what notification? He goes, that Cameron was in a car accident. I was like, no, I didn't. But again, I had walked away, so I didn't know what was, you know, going on or whatever. So after he had called me is when I found out. So anyway, they, it notified me. And then when you hit the text, it gives you their exact location of where they're at. So I went and he was laying on the side of the road, holding on his leg. His buddy was also hurt and sore, holding onto his legs. And the lady was just walking around, didn't say anything to the boys, didn't even go and check in on them, nothing. Pedestrians um, had stopped and, you know, witnesses had stopped to go and, and check on the boys. And uh, they all said, you know, that that lady was at fault. Um, you know, the boys were innocent and because they had the right of way and she just ate a stoplight or ate a stop sign. And at that in particular, uh, in that intersection, that particular intersection, there's a, there's a house that's on the corner and the owner is like, I've been putting in and calling the city for years to put in a stop, a four way stop or flashing lights of some sort. Um, because there are accidents all the time at that spot. Then she said earlier in the day, about four o'clock, there was an accident there and then found out, because a friend of mine was involved in a car accident um, on that road, found out that by Cameron that it was at that same spot. And I'm just like, uh, what, it, like what is going on? So, Long story short, we took him to the ER. Cameron got a ride to the ambulance because he couldn't bend his leg and he couldn't move his leg and I didn't want to throw him in the car. So he took a ride with the ambulance and um, they took him back, did uh, checked him out. Nothing broken from waist down or waist up, did x-rays and all kinds of stuff. They said uh, that he's okay he's going to be really sore. He's got a sprain. Um, and for him to just take ibuprofen, elevate and just to relax because his body, because he tends to pretty good, that he's going to be extremely sore along with his friend. So I'm just, I was upset at first that, the, that they were in a car accident. And then my anger went towards that lady. Um, not because she pulled out, I mean, that partly, but because she didn't even have the audacity or the decency to go check on these boys. Um, I would have been a hot mess. I would have been apologetic. I would have been in tears. I would have been all, all kinds of stuff. And, um, and she wasn't, not the slightest bit. And I don't know if she was like that at home or with other people, but she didn't say anything to the boys. And so I'm just like, and so they were very upset. Uh, the little boy that was driving, they were wearing their seatbelts, so they knew to wear their seatbelts. But the little boy that was driving, um, he was <laughs> more upset it was his car and that uh, he just got that car. And he's like, oh, my car, it's my car. And, and his mom and his dad were like, look, this is replaceable. Lives are not. Um, thank God that you guys, you know, are okay. And um, and so they are. Sorry if the, the, the vlog is a little, you know, bumpy and all. Um, but they, they're fine. Um, so Cameron is staying home today and his knees all, all sore. Um, he's, you know, he's a trooper. He's a trooper. Um, he calmed his friend down because his friend was very upset and wanted to <laughs> go manhandle this lady. And he says, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. So he calmed his friend down. Cameron was in tears. They were, I mean, they both were crying. Um, I didn't have it in me to cry. I was just mad, really, really mad. So while um, 
that his mom had stayed at the scene to get all the stuff situated, I went to the emergency room and I was checking on the boys, um, going back and forth, checking on the boys, making sure that they're okay until uh, his friend's dad showed up. So then he went into his room and kind of dealt with him. And um, I was in, then I start, you know, I was able to focus on Gabriel or on Cameron and then Gabriel showed up. He missed school last night. He didn't go to school last night because he was helping me because I was telling him I was, I, you know, what was going on. And then Liam missed practice last night. And I was like, look, bro, I'm sorry. I just, I can't take you to practice right now. Um, and we were actually getting ready to leave for practice. And then I got the phone call. So the car is filled with all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Um, with baseball stuff, but it's okay because Liam's got a game tonight. And, um, but I do have to take Cameron to the school, um, for their practice because, um, and I air quote that because, um, his athletic director is going to do a second checkup just to make sure that he's, he's good and they can fit him for a knee brace if he needs it but he doesn't need a knee brace he's good and the reason why i'm saying this is because he's got a game a really big game on friday and today is wednesday um the doctor cleared him to play but just to pay attention to his body and um so they're gonna uh fit him for a knee brace just to make sure nothing extra happens and Cameron wants to play. And I, you know, we told him what could happen and the doctor told him, you know, look, if you um, re-injure an injury, you know, it, it'll take much longer for it to heal. But because there's nothing broken or torn, um, he cleared him. So he's just, like I said, just a bit sore. He's got some cuts and bruises from the dash um, from when they hit pretty good. So, um, um, from the car itself, not like the windshield because of, of course they wore their seatbelt. So that happened last night. And so he's at home resting, icing up, taking ibuprofen and I'm headed to my doctor's appointment. So, um, that's what happened with me. What happened with y'all last night? <laughs> Um, I just watched Mandy's vlogs. By the time you guys see this, it would be about another two weeks. And so her vlog would have been out already. And mine also would be out. Um, but uh, we had so much fun, you guys. So much fun. But I am going to... I'm just down the road from my doctor's. So I'm not terribly late. I mean, they give you like a 15-minute grace window because they're always running late. When are they ever running on time? When is the doctor office ever running on time? Even at 9.30 in the morning. So I am on my way to the doctor's and I will check on you guys in a bit. So the doctor appointment went well. Um, I got a refill on my meds and, um, you know, you got to do it. So, but I just stopped by Target, got me my, um, Starbucks. And I also checked out the dollar spot, uh, the one that's out here, but let me show you the goodies that I got. I'm so excited for them. Um, I got this muted green blanket. I got two of them. Um, these throw blankets, I'm going to put them on the sofa for around Christmas. Um, and then I picked up some candles because they were 50% off because of the Halloween or whatever. They're originally 10 and they're now five, but they smell so good. Uh, this one is the Midnight Moon. It smells delish. It smells good. Um, and then I also got two other ones. These were $5 each. I don't know if I said that. This one says poison, poison caramel apple, but it doesn't smell too strong. I don't like candles that are super strong. Ugh. But this one's gonna go um, possibly in the boys' bathroom. 
And then this one, it's just pumpkins all over and it says Happy Thanksgiving. And this one is pumpkin spice. And I thought this was going to be super strong, but it's not. Mm, we'll see. I'll have it downstairs in the dining room burning. And then um, I just like to have candles. But now I'm headed over to Kohl's because I have a return for Amazon. And I'm going to look around and see if there's any shoes for my mom there. So, um, let's see if I can take you guys in with me. Um, meaning vlogging with you guys inside the store. We shall see. So, of course, I didn't get to take you guys in with me to Kohl's. But I did, when I did go to Aldi's or Aldi, I found this beautiful coat rack that was on clearance for $20 and I fell in love with it. I was like, oh my gosh, this has, I know the perfect space for this. Now, yes, I know my house can seem somewhat crowded, but this, I just feel like it makes a, I don't know, I don't want to say makes a home, but it's just, I have the perfect space for it, the perfect spot. And it's actually going to be between the armoire and the front door where the tree, the little plant is. So this is where that's gonna go. I did place it on the other side just to get it out of the way because I had to run and leave. But I wanted to show you guys uh, this and how easily it is to put it together and assemble. Um, you don't, it provides you with all the tools and uh, all the you know screws and all that good stuff so i have always said if you go somewhere and you see something that you like it take advantage of it go check it out and see i mean you just never know and with aldi when things go in clearance they never come back until potentially the following season um but this was a steal and i just had to get it And was all put together you guys can see what it looks like I'm in love with it again I just think it's adorable it's it matches kind of the scheme of what I'm going with but I'm still kind of you know rearranging some things I'm really contemplating on taking out the big black uh, chairs that I have in my living room 
So yeah, that's 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 a challenge, but I'm going to take care of those and, and move those out. But what I'm really excited about is a company actually reached out to me and I'm gonna leave everything linked down below of what I'm actually wearing. Um, it's a company called, I wanna say this correct, Amoritu. Amoretu, A-M-O-R-E-T-U. They reached out to me to see if I can give their product a try and I fell in love with it. I've actually been wearing, I've worn this shirt several times. It dries well, great, great material. They also sent me a cute cardigan that I have worn, I want to say five times since. It is super comfortable very uh i got it oversized so this is extremely large um this is a 2x uh because i wanted to make sure that it fit perfect and big and just super comfy so if you are ever at all interested in getting a nice basic tee and or a nice cute cardigan i'm going to leave it linked down below in the description box so that you guys can go and check them out but i am so happy that they reached out to me because this is a new staple in my wardrobe I absolutely love it. So thank you guys for being here with me and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless.